Oh, okay. Beer, check. Glass, check. Sounds like it's time for Beer Time with Big Bird. Alrighty, everybody. Welcome back once again to the Salt of the Street studio. Welcome back to the show. Um, I am very excited about today. I was, I was wondering all day about what it was I was going to talk about. What kind of beer show are we going to do? I already picked out the beer. I got the beer right here. Quickie, so you don't see it. And uh, so I was bumming around the internet. And I found something kind of cool, especially if you are in Washington State or one of the adjacent places or you feel like traveling here pretty soon. We got a uh, upcoming special event in the world of brewing that uh, we're going to definitely participate in here in some fashion right here on beer time with big bird when it comes around you'll find more about that here in a few minutes but first let's introduce today's beer drum roll please here we go it would have been better if i turned it around so this is another beer from one of my favorite local brewings western red brewing last episode uh was the last episode might have been the one before that. I don't honestly remember right off the top of my head. But we did a pale ale uh, from them the other day. And today we're going to get into their main line red. Which, if you're not like a real craft brew drinker, a micro brew drinker. If you're not super into IPAs. If you're, you know, if you're a little nervous about darker beers, this, that, the other thing. A red ale is generally a really safe place to hang out. My podcast partner, Donovan, over on our other show, the Salt the Streets Podcast, he started out, I think, in the world of craft brews with uh, like Alaskan Ambers, uh, Silver City Brewing, which we've done before. They have a really nice red ale. It's a really good intermediate beer for people that kind of want to take that first step from, say, your Coors Lattes or your Keystone Lights or your Ranier's or or your, I don't know, any basic domestic light beer type thing. If you want to take a further step, red beer is a great way to do it. Sorry about that. had a little dog uh, emergency situation. Show dog, Miss Chloe, wanted to come in, and I had accidentally shut the door. She was not okay with that. Were you, baby? No. Who's a good girl? You want to help Daddy open this beer? Yeah, no, she just wants to lay down and go to bed. So I'm going to go ahead and open this now before we get into today's full-on festivities oh they got some writing here on the can we're gonna have to find out what that says after our pour which is not gonna suck that's almost perfect hot damn hey look salt the streets too fantastic oh that's the thing i like about a red beer they're just a red ale i don't want to say red beer because that's like light beer and tomato juice we don't, we don't we're not having any of those today there's nothing better at the end of a day of hard work at the sawmill than a truly good beer a malty and sweet red ale with notes of caramel and biscuit that are sure to be a hit all right caramel and biscuit let's find out Ooh, right on the nose it's really really warm and embracing comforting you know it is it would be good at the end of a hard day matter of fact it's been a hard day here no it hasn't been a hard day it's friday come in let's let's be real here but let's let's try this and we'll pretend like we worked hard today how about that ah no 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 that's just that is good you know it is really funny how flavor works and how your brain works um, I don't know if I would have picked biscuit out of that right away. Seems kind of like a weird thing to just pull out of nowhere. Maybe not so weird when you're talking beers, but I get biscuit, like, like almost chicken in a biscuit, like them crackers. You know, real, real, like comfortingly bready, if that makes any sense at all. Mm. Oh, shout out WRB once again never fails they always have amazing beer um so on today's agenda we're going to talk a little bit about this wonderful new collaboration beer coming out um that's sponsored and put on by the washington brewers guild 
Um, now, guilds are really interesting. It's a really interesting concept. It's a group of people, and we'll, I'm not going to tell their whole story here because I haven't researched them that much. But in this particular case, it's, it's a group of brewers, associates, you know, um, other people that are in the same kind of field in the industry, um, all kind of collabing together, joining this club, and they have lobbyists to help with state law and government policy. They do big fundraisers for each other a lot of times. I think in this one, there's a lot of like it's networking opportunities between brewers and the, the you know, insider baseball type stuff in the world of brewing. It's a really interesting deal. But I happened upon a thing to find out. I, I found out that, that they're going to be doing this upcoming May 14th. May 14th. If you're in Washington State, you need to be hunting for these beers. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of it right now, and then we're going to talk about more about what's going on there. But if it's coming out, you got a month to watch out for them. They're supposed to be hitting the shelves May 14th. So now, let's go in and talk a little bit about this wonderful beer collaboration thing they're calling Multiplayer Guild Collab IPA. All right, welcome to the Multiplayer Guild Collab IPA, brought to you by none other than the Washington Brewers Guild. So what is this thing? There's our release date, May 14th. So together we craft, Washington beer lovers, where to find this IPA. In the spirit of the Washington Brewers community, brewers from across the state come together to produce Multiplayer Guild Collab, an IPA benefiting the Washington Brewers Guild, a.k.a. this is a fundraiser. This IPA is a reflection of a connected and collaborative industry and a celebration of the Washington beer lovers helping us take our craft to the next level. The release date is May 14th, um, American Craft Beer Week. Did not know that. Hashtag, we've got to remember that. Check participating breweries, websites, and social media for special details, so on and so forth. And we have a nice list of brewers we recognize. Bainbridge Brewing, not from this show, at least not yet. We have a bit of a crucible. That's a good. Drew Brew. We've had that on the show, I believe. And if not, um, there is some coming our way. It's a, a fantastic local-ish brewery. It's about three hours away. Oh, Ghostfish Brewing. That's a really interesting one. Um, Fremont's fantastic. Ghostfish is fun because they're all gluten-free beers. Um, Icicle Brewing. We, uh, we know them from... Leavenworth, it's a Germanic, it's like a Bavarian town up in the mountains. Really cool. Silver City, our good friends there. We've had a couple of their beers. Rainy Days is on the docket. Way to go. And Rubens Brews, those are really great too, out of Seattle, I believe. And right off the bat, nothing else really catches as super familiar. Now, this is the really interesting part as we look at the, the brewery participation info. These guys actually get an amazing deal on this thing it sounds like so okay let's just read this a special thank you to the following allied members aka people in the industry for their generous donations crosby hops donating 660 pounds of hops uh we've got prairie malt is offering 100 percent discount of all prairie malt paul's malt and belgo malt um Lailmond is offering 100 discount on all strains up to 10 bbls i'm assuming that is going to be yeast blue label packaging 100 donation on pressure sensitive labels on 12 ounce 16 and crowlers so we can go big or small here who's eligible anybody that's in the guild good to go the recipe participants will receive the guidelines the guideline base recipe with a final destination of, okay, so we're talking 6 to 7% IPAs. That'll be interesting. You're encouraged to put your own spin on it and have some fun. There will be no limit on size, and brewers can produce a three-barrel batch on up. So you got to do at least three barrels, which is a lot of beer still for us home brewers, if you're not. The labels um, are the one that is in the thumbnail and at the top here, created by this wonderful lab called the Blind Tiger Designs. Really cool. You can get them from the Blue Label Packaging. Here we go. We got some more donations. And it sounded like when I was reading through these earlier that you can actually get various discounts after you participate in the program. Um, but anyways, there's there's that. That's And then here's the brewers again. 
with some special hey look at there's our prairie malt crosby hops look at that, the design check blue label skagit valley malting look at all these wonderful people and there it is that's the washington brewers guild multiplayer guild collab ipa which is just a lot to say so washington brewers guild get on that not really i'm very excited about this uh, we've got a about a month to wait for this magicness um, i'm going to be watching like a hawk and seeing where i can find this stuff they don't have like a where can you find this yet but i'm going to assume that any of the participating breweries will be selling it probably out of their brewery so at least we're going to have to go take a little visit and see what we can get our hands on when the time comes so we gotta wait a month but you know what you don't have to wait a month for episode 125 of the salt the streets podcast why because that's happening tomorrow it's happening tomorrow we're gonna be we're gonna be having two guests on it's gonna be fantastic um we call them the brothers getta and i feel like i can i can release that now because it's all it's less than 24 hours away and if i can't do that this is gonna get beeped <laughs> But it's going to be great. Um, we've had our buddy Zeke on before. Um, we did it over Signal, I think, last time, like an actual phone call type conversation. But we're going to be trying to shoot for some actual video stuff. We also have his brother Ivan coming on. It's going to be great. It's going to be uh, a really, really, I think, fun and probably incredibly morose podcast as it usually is but it'll be great so come join us there if you're into politics and and, and social life and all these different things and the goings-ons of the world it's going to be fantastic so that's right here salted streets channel noonish time tomorrow watch for social media for any updates so you can find those right here that's that's a fun thing look at that i haven't done that on the beer show yet that was cool i got to hit the button on this show but those are all the socials that's where you find us and a special extra special announcement to top it all off salt the streets is officially now on rumble rumble.com search out salt the streets you'll find us there's only a few videos up there now but i'm currently posting another one as we speak and and, and the library will slowly build up so if you're a rumbler and not a youtuber head on over to rumble and i'm just now realizing that this video is going to be up on rumble as well so let's get back to my red beer because i want to talk more about this because as i drink it more i have more to say about it mm. so when i said comforting before i mean it's it's very very comforting it's it's kind of i don't know how you can drink something cold but then feel warm afterwards if that makes any sense i think it comes in at 5.24 percent very low on the IBUs too. The IBUs is only 26. So you're just really getting a lot and lot of like super smooth malts. But without any of like the malty sweetness that can come in a really high test, high ABV beer. Like uh, some double IPAs are just really thick and, and kind of syrupy in a way. And it's, this is not that. This is still light and refreshing yet comforting. But that's because the fine people over at Western Red Brewing made this. And they're always fantastic. So I think I've actually got to wrap things up. Because, uh, like I said, we got a show tomorrow. It's going to be a big one. And on top of that, i got to go see a movie this evening. So uh, I'm going to wish you all a fine farewell. Cheers. And we'll catch you on the other side. Welcome to the south of the streets. Coming at you every week with the